Hey guys, so today's video is going to be my yearly favorites video. I have quite a few things um, sitting in front of me, just a lot of different um, makeup and some beauty products. So let's go ahead and jump in and get started. Hopefully the video isn't too long. I'm going to go through them quickly. Um, quite a few things you've seen me use all the time and I think some of these have been in other favorites videos. So I probably won't spend too much time explaining a lot of them. I'm just going to kind of show you and move on so that way the video isn't terribly extremely long. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. So let's get started again on this. Sorry my camera stopped recording. But let's start out and so my very first product is the Soap and Glory, um, is this the Butter Bomb? Shea Butter with Aloe Vera. This is great, especially in the winter. Um, my skin gets very, very dry whenever it starts to get cold. So I use this um, every time I get out of the shower or before I go to bed, um, whichever I have time. And I love it. Um, just a little bit. It goes a very long way. But it really keeps my skin very moisturized. Um, almost, you could almost just use it every other day and I think you would be fine. Um, because it lasts, I think, a really long time on your skin. And it works really, really well. It smells great. Um, this is probably, I think, my favorite smell. I think it's just the original one that they have. Then next, um, I really like this product. It is a lip mask. Um, I use it every night before I go to bed and um, I just apply it to my lips like you would any lip product um, and then when you wake up in the morning they're not nice and moisturized. I don't have to worry about waking up. Usually I wake up and I'm like I've got to have chapstick now. With this product I don't have to do that. You can apply it um, throughout the day under a lipstick if you want to. Um, especially like if it's a matte lipstick I would recommend applying this so it doesn't dry out your lips. Um, apply it at night like I do so when you wake up in the morning your lips are nice and refreshed um, after you use a lip like a um, exfoliator that you can apply this. I definitely would recommend that. I do that as well. Um, but this is the best, um, excuse my language, but the best damn lip mask. That's just the name of it. And I really, really like this product. Um, it is a little pricey. I did get it when it was half off and that's why I ended up buying it. I wanted to try it out for a while, but I think it's around $30 normal priced. And for this little size product, I didn't know if it would really be worth it, but it is. Um, I paid, I think, half price, so it was around $15, um, but I would probably pay $30 because it doesn't really take that much of it, so I feel like it would last you a long time, and it is definitely worth it, especially for someone like me who has chapstick in every room of the house. Then my next two um, products, I'll do these together. They're foundations. Um, these are definitely my both my two favorite foundations for the year. Um, this one I am almost completely out of. Excuse me. This one um, I just more recently purchased, um, but I can already tell that it is definitely my favorite. It is a newer foundation for this year. Um, this one came out um, a longer time ago, so I've had it for a a longer amount of time but this is the makeup forever ultra hd foundation i love this foundation it's um i say medium to full coverage it is buildable um it is a great product it's not something that um gets really cakey or is heavy on your skin um it's just very lightweight um and i don't really notice when it's on my skin i don't feel it um, but it does give you a very nice coverage as well and I really like this product. Um, then this one is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea. This is a water foundation. It has SPS of 15. This also has sunscreen in it, I do believe. Um, I don't see it on the bottle though, but I'm pretty sure this one has sunscreen in it too. But I don't see it on the bottle. So maybe it doesn't, but I'm pretty sure it does. Um, this one 
is supposed to be hydrating. It's a water foundation, so it's supposed to be very hydrating. It is a full coverage foundation. It is um, a matte foundation. At least it is on me. Um, I know it's supposed to be hydrating, but I don't really notice it to be glowy or anything. The dog is not happy. Something's outside and he's not liking it. Um, but it definitely feels more matte and powdery on my skin, but it dries um, very quickly. I don't feel it to be sticky at all. It's light um, weight, but it is full coverage. Um, I really like the way it applies. It's very smooth. I feel like it doesn't fall into my pores or really cling to anything on my skin, and it gives just a very natural, um, smooth finish. I really, really like this foundation, and it might be my favorite this year as of right now. Then the next is my RCMA No Color Powder. Um, I'm shocked that I've used this much already just because of how much it might have kind of fell down in that bottle. If I shake it, it might not be so much. Yeah, that looks a little more. Just because it doesn't take very much of this product and it's such a big bottle. But I love this for underneath my eye area. It's no color, so it doesn't change the color that you have of your concealer or anything like that. It's very very light powder so it doesn't crease it's just an amazing product all around and it's very inexpensive as well the next I have two mascaras this is the L'Oreal Telex Got Quick Carbon Black Mascara this is my favorite for the bottom lash line and this is the Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara my favorite for my top lashes they are both really no clumping um, I like this wand for the bottom lash line because it's very small and I like it for my top lashes to make them longer. I like this brush. It's very thick, so it's not very good for the bottom lash line. But it's excellent for the top lashes to make them very thick and full. Then I have the Professional Primer by Benefit. This is my favorite primer. It's very creamy. Um, it is excellent for things helping fill in those pores so my foundation doesn't fall into them. Um, I used to never really have pore issues. I have noticed over time though I'm starting to get a little bit of a pore um, right in this area. But that's really it. But this product totally takes care of those and it is just absolutely amazing and it's also very creamy so it helps with hydration as well. Then this little product is absolutely amazing. It is the Benefit Give Me Brow. I have the shade um, 3. It is the Brow Volumizer Fiber Gel and I love it. Just one little swoop through your brows and you are done. It's very quick and easy. Volumizes them, gives them some color and helps them stay in place all in one product. Then I have two eyeliners. This eyeliner is my favorite for my bottom lash line waterline. This is the Dolce, I never say it correctly, Cosmetics Ultra Precision Eyeliner. And this is just a black eyeliner and I use it so much I need to really, really um, sharpen that. But it's just a very creamy waterproof eyeliner and I love it for my um, waterline. And then this is my favorite um, eyeliner for my top lashes, especially for a winged eyeliner look, and it is the Made You Look Night Owl Precision Eyeliner in Haunted. It is a felt tip liner, um, but it is just very, very easy and simple to make that winged eyeliner look. Um, I am not the best at a winged eyeliner, and with this one, it is just very easy to do, first time, and it's almost perfect. Then my favorite concealer for this year has definitely been the MAC um, Select Cover Up and I have the shade NC20. Um, this one, I definitely love it. I don't notice it falling into or setting into my creases under my eyes. I have very fine lines there um, and it really covers up any dark circles that I might have. I have bad allergies so that seems to be my worst area of if they're acting up I get darker circles than normal and sometimes my eyes will get really puffy and this product really helps take care of that and cover that area and any issues that I might have. Then my favorite bronzer is most definitely the Butter Bronzer by um, Physicians Formula in light bronze is the one that I have. It smells like pina coladas and it is absolutely amazing. I love using it here um, to warm up my cheekbones. And actually, you know what? I'll go ahead and show you because I don't think I used it on my forehead. So we'll do that real quick. 
and just use it as a bronzer um, and it's just very light but it works and it's just very creamy so it's very easy to blend and I know I have used this in plenty of my videos but that is how I always apply it and I really really like this product um, it's not very expensive because it is a drugstore product so it's very easy to get a hold of and I don't think it was a limited edition but I don't know for sure I know I've still seen it out in the drugstore so I'd say that it wasn't then I have some eyeshadows these are two palettes um, one of my definite favorites is the Morphe and Kathleen Lights palette I have I don't think not used it since I purchased this product um, I love all the shades in it it's very creamy I have nothing bad to say about it and I use at least one shade out of this every single day since I have bought it so I absolutely love it another palette that I have loved is the BH Carly Bible palette I know this has probably been out for a while but I just purchased it this year and this is another palette that once I purchased it I used every shade out of this palette for probably three months straight I really liked the shades that she had in this especially these two shades here I use them all the time I was addicted to this palette whenever I first purchased it and all of the shades are just very creamy very easy to blend very usable all the time um, and just very super inexpensive palettes both of these are and shout out for that for both of them making them to be able for basically anyone to purchase then these shades here um, I really really love them too these are all Anastasia Beverly Hills and I have used them in multiple different videos this is um, Sienna and the shade here is Henna. Then you have Peach Sorbet and Orange Soda. I use these shades all the time, um, transition shades and then lid shades and crease color and they are definitely some of my favorite eyeshadow colors for this year as well. Then my favorite brush this year is got to be my Artiste um, foundation brush and this is the Oval 8 brush. I use this um, to apply um, a bronzer or um, anything foundation as well and it is just very quick and easy to apply powder liquid and just super easy to blend I love this brush um, definitely worth the money and I don't have anything bad about it to say as well um, it's very quick if you need to be out the door in five minutes this is the brush to use I hope you guys have enjoyed um, my yearly favorites video don't forget to hit that thumbs up button if you did and don't forget to check back um, for more videos, don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.